My name is Anna and I have a small business, Amory EcoSo. And I decided that I wanted to document uh, some of the things going on along my journey. I am a college student. I'm in my third year in college for business and entrepreneurship. Um, I make eco-friendly reusable products and I also make hair accessories like scrunchies and um, I just started making headbands. So I'm really excited to share with you today. I have a Black Friday fabric haul. So I went shopping at the fabric store for their Black Friday sale and I got a lot of stuff. It might not seem like a lot, but it's a lot. Um, it's a lot for me at least. I'm the only one that does the sewing. Um, I get some help from my mom sometimes and some help from my boyfriend, but yeah, I this is gonna be this is gonna keep me busy over Christmas break from school. Yeah, without further ado, let's get to the fabric store. <laughs> okay, so before we get started on the Black Friday deals, the shopping. We got fuel, we gotta get some fuel. We're gonna go to this little, is it like a bakery or is it a little cafe? It's a cafe. We're going to this little cafe, a few towns over. Um, we're gonna get some breakfast. Okay, see you there. <laughs> Okay, so we got some food, and now we're gonna head into the fabric store. Um, I'm gonna have to spend a little while in there, so let's go. Okay, so I picked out some cotton scrunchy fabric. I'm gonna have to pick out some more scrunchy fabric and some other um, types of fabric, but now it's time for me to pick out some paper towel fabric, which is always fun. So I never really make scrunchies with any like, silk fabric, but there are just so many cute ones that I think I just might have to get some to try. So now it's time for headband fabric. I'm just starting to make these for the first time, so I'm gonna just, you know, get a few patterns to try, see how I like them. And we're back. I have got a lot of fabric here. I wasn't able to fit it all into my reusable bags, so I got some just, you probably saw it spilled out on the floor. So there's a lot here. I'm gonna try to go in sections, go by scrunchies first, then headbands, then reusable paper towels. I think that's everything I bought for today. Um, but yeah, I guess I will go with reusable paper towels first because that's what I have the least of. So first I have this little black and yellow sunflower. At first I didn't know if I liked it that much, but it was, there was not much left on there. So I just decided to get the whole thing and remnants were 75% off today. So that was great. I got the remnant. Next I got this colorful, like kind of abstract triangles one. I really like this one. I've been eyeing this one for a while. I just haven't picked it up until now, but I'm really glad that I finally got it. And spring will be coming up soon and everybody will be looking for those fun, bright colors. This one is more on the winter side. It's kind of like a cable knit uh, pattern, but it is just that cotton flannel. It's really soft. So I like this one. This daisy one, is great. I love the gray. I think people will love to clean with the gray. I might have already bought this one last week, but I couldn't remember if I bought it or not. And I knew that I had put some back and I couldn't go without getting this one because it's just so cute. And I believe this is my last paper towel fabric. I got this cute little 
lemons and oranges. This was actually the first fabric I made paper towels out of. I made a set for my mom for Mother's Day. And then some kind of miscellaneous things I bought. I bought some of this like mesh kind of material. I got this for my reusable makeup removers. I make those with the cotton flannel as well. I use the scraps from the paper towels. And this will help me to make some laundry bags for them. I've been meaning to do this for a while. I just haven't gotten around to it. And I finally got, I got this as a remnant too. Um, I was gonna get two yards and it had another like 14 inches or so. So I got extra 14 inches for 75% off. So that was pretty cool. And I got some, just a little bit of terry cloth because it was on sale and it's never on sale. And I use these for my floor mops. So I got just a little bit of this blue terry cloth because this is always a very popular pattern, especially on Etsy. Next, I guess I will go into my scrunchie fabric. So I bought a lot of silks and delicate fabrics and that is not usually what I get. I'm usually a strictly cotton girl. So I've been venturing out with some new patterns and fabrics. And so for this first one, I think this is really beautiful. It's like a blush colored with little flowers on it. I think that'll make a beautiful scrunchie and I'm really excited about that. It'll look really delicate and nice in the hair. Next, I have this one. I'm not really sure what it is. It kind of looks like some, some foliage or maybe it's just splatter paints and I'm reading a little too much into it, but I love these colors. I just think that it's beautiful. And again, it's a really delicate fabric. This is one of my favorites that I got. I kind of had to unfold it a little bit, but isn't that just beautiful? Well, I love the yellow and the orange and the pink. I just think that'll be made into a great scrunchie and look great in someone's hair. Maybe in my hair. I never make stuff for myself, but maybe I'll just accidentally mess one up a little bit, just a little bit so that I can get it for myself. <laughs> Next, I have this little light blue number, another floral. And who doesn't love a good floral? So I love this little baby blue color. I think this will be great for a scrunchie. Now I have something a little different for the scrunchies. This I was really excited to find. It's all folded inside out because it uh, does have glitter on it, which is always a favorite, you know, it gets everywhere and you can't forget that you made it for a month afterwards because you're still cleaning it up. I can literally see the glitter floating around in the air around me as I hold this up. But I just, I saw this, there were like three other colors and I knew I shouldn't get all of them. So I just got this one to start with. It was on sale. I mean, everything was on sale. I think that'll be pretty for the holidays as well. I did get some cotton um, scrunchy fabric. I didn't completely shy away from that. And this is one of my favorite fabrics that I think I've ever picked up. This little, it's that beautiful blue again with the oranges and the yellows. I just am in love with that combination of colors. I can't get over it. And for my dog lovers, cause I always have people asking if I have paw prints and dogs and even cats. I didn't pick up anything cats today, but for my dog lovers, I did get some little paw print, you know, a little tie dye action. I'm very colorful and I think this is adorable. I've had this one before and it's always sold really well. This one was more my taste. Sometimes I buy things not knowing if other people are really gonna like them, but knowing that I love it. And that is exactly what this one is. I am in love with these colors. I'm actually making a temperature blanket for next year as well. And I will be using a lot of these colors. So I'm really excited about all that. Uh, this one's more of a fun kind of kids one. It's not necessarily something that I would wear, but it ha does have glitter and cute little polka dots. And I think that this will make someone very happy. Next is a more sophisticated one for scrunchies, um, a little brown and black and white plaid. I do think that I would like this one a lot. This little light blue with, uh, is that gold or silver? I think it's just shimmery white. The shimmery white details around the flowers. That one's beautiful as well. I've had this in pink before. So I just had to get it in the blue. 
And going along with the blue, I have this little, I think this will be cute for summer, you know, a little kind of, is this gingham? I'm not really sure. Is this just plaid? Is it just checkered? I don't, I don't know the exact name, but I love this, this light blue color. I believe this is last for my cotton scrunchies. This one's gonna be kind of hard to see, but it's a little cream colored with some floral on it as well. Oh, and I actually missed one of the flannel fabrics for the paper towels. So this is another paper towel fabric. I've had this one before, it's always a good seller. Yep. So now on to the headbands. So I just started making headbands, so I kind of wanted to stock up on all the different patterns that I wanted to get. I wanna be making a lot of baby headbands and babies just grow so fast, so I know I'm gonna have to be making a lot of different sizes, so I wanted to make sure I had plenty. So first I have this yellow and black, and I think that this one's cute. I, I love the black and yellow. I think it's easy to match to clothes and it's adorable. Then we have this little blue and orange floral. There, again, there are a lot of florals, you know, at Joann's. So I think this one will make a good headband. I'm very excited about this one because I do love this green color as well. It's this color that I had on my jacket earlier, but this little, it's kind of tie dye. With the green. I think that's so cute. I love that one. And these last two I actually bought last week, but I only bought eight inches of them just to try it out. And I bought two more yards of each. This is another one of those light blue uh, with the red and orange florals that I love. And this one is a really nice, warm, you know, kind of autumn feel to it. And so like I mentioned, the remnants were 75% off. So I did buy some remnants from the remnant rack, which essentially means whenever people buy off of a bolt of fabric, the little roll of it, and they buy out the bolt and there's say half a yard or even a yard left, if they don't wanna purchase that yard, they will wrap it up and put it in the remnants pile. And usually the remnants are 50% off, but they were 75% off for Black Friday. So I got, I never see terry cloth on the remnants and I already had some of this. So I was like, why not just get it? It'll be 70% off. It's barely gonna be anything, you know? So I bought this. This will probably make like maybe two um, mop pads. So, but you know, somebody's gotta have it. And if I didn't grab it, maybe nobody would and it would have gone to waste. So I'm really glad that I was able to grab this. So I got this big one actually. This is very rare. This came, it's 1.3 yards of this fleece fabric and I use the fleece to make my dusters. So people like plaid, so I went ahead and picked this one up and this is a pattern that I've never had. So it'll be a nice little, little treat. Then the rest of the fabrics I got are experimental scrunchy fabrics from the remnants pile. So I got this green one. So. Uh, there were two actually, I don't know why there were two. This one has 0.875 yards and this one has 0.75 yards, three quarters of a yard. And I just got both of them because you know, why not? It's like beautiful green again. I can just make some simple scrunchies out of it. And then I got this satin gray. It's very shiny. I guess it's silver. I got the silver and it's beautiful just glimmer in the light, very elegant. So I'm excited to try this one out. I also found this blush pink. I found this on a remnant last week and I bought it and I tried it out and I loved it. Actually, I'll go get the scrunchie that I made from it. One second. Okay, so this is the scrunchie that I made from it last week whenever I got this fabric on remnant. So whenever I saw it was on a remnant again, I just had to get some more. So I got some more and I'm excited to make some more of these little guys. And finally, last but not least, we have one more scrunchie fabric. I don't even know what this material is called, rayon. I'm not a fabric expert, but this is some rayon. <laughs> and it's just a little purple fabric with some more floral details. And I think that'll make a nice 
delicate scrunchie. I think that'll work out very nicely. Well, thank you so much for stopping in and watching my video. If you've made it this far, thank you. Um, if you like, you can check out my Etsy. I may or may not have these patterns and fabrics up yet. Maybe I'll make another video um, kind of making all of them and then showing them all made. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop them down below. I am brand new to all of this. I don't even know if any one person will watch this. I'll be happy. Yeah, thank you so much for taking the time to watch me. And I can't wait to document some more of my journey. Bye.